Welcome to Edge Kids. As a family, we get to know Christ, be the church, and serve our community with a message of hope, truth, and love. We're so excited that you're here with us today. Hello, and welcome to our brand new series, which is all about the Bible. Who loves the Bible? I love the Bible. I've got a Bible right here. The Bible is amazing and we are doing a series all around the Bible. Now, another word for the Bible is called the Word of God. Maybe you've heard it called that before. Maybe you've heard it called the Word. So anytime that we're talking about the Word, we're talking about this most incredible, amazing, powerful, my favourite book in the whole world, the Bible. So, What we're going to do over the next six weeks is we're going to play a little game of I Spy. Have you ever played I Spy before? I Spy is when you're kind of like, I'm looking around and whoa, I'm choosing to look at one specific thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of I Spy with the Bible. We're going to zoom in on the Bible because in the Bible it actually tells us that the Word is like, the Bible is like all of these different things. So we are going to cover six different things that the Bible is like. It's how they explain how powerful the Bible is. So the six different things that we're going to talk about, we've done what we like to do and we have written a little bit of a song to help you remember what these six things are and to give you a few little clues of what does that even mean, which we are gonna explain over the next few weeks. But what I want you to do right now, I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to stretch out out a little bit. That's it, stretch it out a bit. Get ready. We're gonna teach you the actions to these six words before you hear the song for the very first time. It's, It's a pretty fun song. I think you'll like it. Okay, the first one is a sword. Everyone say sword. Now say, wake up a little bit, say it a bit louder. Everyone say sword, amazing. So for sword, we're gonna do this, like a sword, amazing. Next one is seed, everyone say seed. Great, for seed, we plant the seed in the ground and then whoop, it grows. The next one is hammer, everyone say hammer. Great, we're gonna hammer like this. I like the double-handed hammer. We're gonna hammer up, we're gonna hammer down and then we go mirror, everyone say mirror. Amazing. When it comes to mirror, we go like this. There's a mirror over here. We're going to look in it and then we're going to look back again. Then the Word of God is like a lamp. Everyone say lamp. Amazing. Like a lamp, a light unto our feet. When it comes to that bit, you can kick your feet up a little bit. You can have some fun. And then we've got the Word of God is like food. I love food. I love the Bible. So it works well. The Word of God is like food. Pretty simple, you'll work it out. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's land the song. The word is like a sword, a weapon that I know. The word is like a seed, if you plant it, it'll grow. The word is like a hammer building up and breaking down. The word is like a mirror, cause I know in Christ I'm found. The word is like a lamp. The word is like food, it's the daily bread I eat. The word is like a sword, a weapon that I know. The word is like a seed, if you plant it, it'll grow. The word is like a hammer building up and breaking down. The word is like a mirror, cause I know when Christ I'm found. The word is like a lamp. Great work. You did very good for the first time of learning this song. Well done. You can sit down now. Good work. So what we're going to do over the next few weeks is we're going to do a little bit of investigating, a little bit of researching. What do we mean by these images? What do we mean by these things? So today, are you ready? The first investigation, the first research we're going to do is on the word is like... What? The word is like a sword. Name, sword. Facts, there are two facts that we're gonna talk about today. Fact one, it is a weapon. And fact two, it is powerful. So when we talk about the sword being like a weapon, it's actually really good for us to think, we're not just talking about a book that sits on the shelf. The Bible is powerful. 
powerful. In Hebrews 4 verse 12 in the Bible, that is powerful. It says, for the Word of God, it's alive, it's active, it is so sharp. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. You know what? When we've talked about the armour of God, we've talked about all of the things that are there to protect us. It ends in Ephesians 6 verse 17 where the final thing, take the helmet of salvation and then the sword, the weapon. Take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. This is the weapon that God has told us we get to fight with. It's there to protect us. It's there to help us. The Bible is not just an ordinary boring book. It's actually something that we can use and learn to use every day. Kind of like, oh, let's do some sword fighting lessons, shall we? That's what it's like when we're teaching you the Bible. It's like teaching you how to actually use it, like how to use a sword. So fact one, it is a weapon. Fact two, most importantly, it's powerful. The Bible is powerful, but it's only powerful if we use it. Now, can you imagine you're just standing there and all of these things are happening, everything's coming against you and you've got a weapon, but you go, I don't want to use it. I'm too scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know what? God tells us that we can use the weapons that he has given us to actually fight back. We're not talking about being mean and fighting people. We're talking about the power of the Bible. Now, in Matthew 4, we see in the Bible how Jesus actually used the scriptures like this, like a sword. He was going through hard things. He's in the desert. He hasn't eaten. The enemy's trying to tempt him. All of these things are happening. And you know what? He teaches us the power of memorizing the Bible, memory verses. Jesus uses memory verses to fight. And he tells the enemy, you're wrong. This is what the Bible says. So maybe for you and I, maybe there's things that you go, oh, you know what? Sometimes when I feel like this, I know that's not the truth. But instead of just standing there, we can go, God, help me to use the Bible. Maybe you're feeling like I just, everyone's telling me and I just feel like I'm not very brave. You know what? We can use the Bible and say, hey, the Bible says in Joshua that I can be strong and courageous, that I can be bold and brave. That's just one example of how we can use the Bible as a weapon, like a sword, because the Bible is powerful. Remember, two things, it's a weapon and it's powerful. Now, we are going to hear from someone very special that I can't wait for you to meet, who's gonna actually help you see that some of these scriptures can come alive for us today. Hello, I'm Pastor Dave. I'm going to read from the Bible today about how Jesus showed us how the Bible is like a sword. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 through 11 says this, Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Jesus ate nothing for 40 days and nights. After this, he was hungry. The devil came to Jesus and tempted him. The devil said, if you are the son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written in the scriptures, a person does not live only by eating bread, but a person lives by everything the Lord says. Then the devil led Jesus to the holy city of Jerusalem. He put Jesus on a very high place of the temple. The devil said, if you are the son of God, jump off. It is written in the scriptures, he has put his angels in charge of you. They will catch you with their hands and you will not hit your foot on a rock. Jesus answered him. It also says in scripture, do not test the Lord your God. Then the devil led Jesus to the top of a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and all the great things that are in the kingdoms. The devil said, if you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all these things. Jesus said to the devil, go away from me, Satan. It is written in the scriptures, you must worship the Lord your God, serve only him. 
So the devil left Jesus and then some angels came to Jesus and helped him. That's why we need to understand that the word of God is, is like a weapon. Hi, my name is Tammy and I'm from our Ranella campus and I love that we've been learning about the word and how the word is like a sword. A little bit like this. And you know what? When I think about a sword, I think of a weapon. And a weapon, when you think of weapon, is something that you fight with. And so sometimes, you know what? I need to do a little bit of fighting. But when I'm talking about fighting, I'm not talking about putting on a boxing glove and pew, 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 and hitting and hurting people. I'm definitely not talking about that. But when I talk about fighting, I'm talking about fighting with God's sword. And his sword is the Bible. It's the weapon that he has given us to fight. And so do you know what? For me personally, when kids or somebody has spoken to me about things that you're not good enough and you can't do that, sometimes that makes me feel really sad. They're hurtful things. And do you know what? Sometimes I actually believe them. But because I have God's weapon, God's sword, that is truth, I can go, no, do you know what? I know that in the Bible, it says in Matthew that with God, anything is possible. He has equipped me with something like this, which is the truth and that we can have for us and we can fight against those things. So I pray that you guys will just have this in your heart, that you'd have the sword and that you'll be able to fight against those things when it's a tough day, when maybe some, someone is saying something that is hurtful, that you'll know that God has truth to say about you. Love you guys. See ya. Well, as you can see, we have learnt so much all about the sword today. We have learnt name, sword, facts. Fact number one, it's a weapon. Fact number two, it's powerful. You can see we've done our research and there's some more research you can do there, looking up those scriptures in Hebrews and in Matthew. But finally, I want to leave us with a challenge. I want to see, can you try it this week? Can you? Yes, you. Yes, everyone point to yourself, you. I want to see if this week you can actually try to use the Bible like a sword. Now, I'm not talking about sword fighting with your sister or your brother. I'm talking about using the Bible like a sword, like a weapon, like the powerful weapon that it is. So your challenge in trying it today is, can you try and memorize one verse in the Bible this week? Maybe for you, that would be a really, really big thing to do. Or maybe for you, you're good at memorizing verses, so you could memorize three or four. Maybe you want to remember what we talked about of going, be strong and courageous from Joshua 1.9. Whatever that is, I want you this week to try it. Try and use the Bible like a sword. When things are happening, remember, stop, wait. I can actually use the Bible like a sword and memorize scripture. So I reckon you are clever enough to do that this week. And next week, we are going to learn more all about the power of the word. We love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's amazing that we can gather together, grow together and go together. We love you so much and we can't wait to see you again next week.